During times like these, it's really nice to go to the mailbox and discover you have unicorn skins have arrived. Christine from Simply Nailogical has graciously sent me a box of her latest collection. Let me show you what's inside. Let's get started. Well, unicorn skins, let's just start with the box. It's beautiful. Look at the color shifting on the box alone. Look at that. <laughs> Spectacular. I mean, it's the little things right now. We all need something to uplift our spirits, eh? This is just the thing to do it. So let's see what's inside. Okay, her packaging is always so great. This is, I believe, her second collection. She has the top coats and base coats, but these are the colors. Oh, look at them. Oh, this is adorable. 100% ethically sourced unicorns. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, so let's just take them all out. Like I say, the packaging is just adorable. I hope you guys can see that. Sometimes with the light, it's hard to really... I think you can see that, can't you? You can, you can see the different colors i mean that's what the polish is going to do too look at that so reflective absolutely gorgeous okay so in the collection she also sent me this one too which gives you the base coats and the top coats and we will do the base coat on all i've done it on most of them so i was looking at them and what she's got here is really actually cool because these three are the unicorn skins these three colors here here they can look very different when you open up i'll show you but they're very different on but she's got two color coats white and like an indigo deep purpley blue, which is gorgeous, very flat, to put these colors on top of them. And when you put these three colors on top, they're very different looks. They shift shape, color shape quite differently. I think I'm gonna do them both. I was gonna do the one at first, but remember she had the black and it was like black and then she claimed it was like the blackest black. She was right, it was the blackest black. I've worked with a lot of blacks and it's probably the blackest. I think she's probably going to have nailed it with the white. Let's check it out. Mm. Okay, this is the white. She's pretty good with the names. Not milky white. Okay, if you watch Christine, she's tried whites and they're too milky. And I get what she's saying. She's exactly right. You want something with a very, very strong pigment. And the reason being is because when you put it on, you want it to be full coverage with one or two swipes across it. You don't want to have to put tons of it to get this density in color. So I know exactly what she's going for. First of all, let me finish with the base coat, okay? Okay. So I've got natural nails. I don't often do that. That's why I thought in between changing, because we're doing a lot of videos right now with, with everything that's going on, we're trying to give you as much information as we can at a quicker pace because you're all not being able to get to your nail salons. So this hand I have from, look how bad it's grown out. I'm using this as a another working platform because I can't have guests right now. So I've got natural nails, which is unusual for me. And she's got a base coat for natural nails. So I'm just going to put that on here. When you're working with natural nails, it is nice to have a base coat. It protects the natural nail and it also gives it a bit more of a smoother finish. And if you're using a dark color, it can help so the natural nail doesn't get stained. Okay, so put that guy aside. That was the base coat um, specifically on the back. Is here. It says here, keep your manicure longer with the base coat. The other base coat that she supplies is a peely one. I don't really want the peely one right now. Okay, here is the white. Now, I didn't, you know, I didn't read. I'm not really much of an instruction reader for the most part. And a lot of times they will say, shake it. I don't hear a little bead in there, so maybe it doesn't really need to be shaken. Okay, let's see how white this white is. I'm rather excited. I'm going to do two white and two of the indigo -y blue color that she's got. So just so we can see the different effects. Okay. Nice small brush. Remember, take the paint away on one side and then just paint with the one side. Oh boy. That is white. That is nice. I'm just trying to be careful not to flood. Every nail polish has different consistency. I don't work with this all the time, so I don't know the consistency until I put it on. It's nice.
Very nice. Okay, let's get out the the blue one. I'm going to do two and two. This is Indigo Away. <laughs> like go away, Indigo Away. Okay. And we'll paint the other two the blue. great backdrop actually for these colors I'm sure okay let's do the index honestly they're pretty good with the one coat you pretty much don't really even need the second coat, honestly, especially if you're putting a couple of coats of these on top. Even you see how um, that was only because of the, the camera angle, the way I'm trying to do it. I'm swiping over there. I really can't see it. If I was doing it like this, it'd be more consistent. But the flakes, I bet you will cover that too. You don't have to get that picky, actually. In fact, when I think about it, if you're trying to prolong a nail fill, this would kind of help hide that a little bit. I did a video recently where I take down the nails. I smooth it down a little bit. I put polish over top. But this would help also if you're seeing any little, the sink in, the difference when the polish sinks into the area that's not filled and you're polishing to try to extend the look, you could actually fill it with the hollow product because it would hide any of those little elevations. That's a good idea. That would look really good. Okay, so I'm quite happy with those coats. I don't think you need any more. So there's three here and I've got four nails. I don't really know which one to pick. Um, if you can see, this one has sort of a golden glow. And I'm sure, let's take them out. Don't want to ruin the boxes. Oh, see how close they are when you take them out? But they look very different on, I bet. Okay, so see what I mean? Look at those. They look very similar, but if you know anything about polish, they can look very different on. Uh, these are the names. Solar Unicorn Skin, Aurora Unicorn Skin, and Cosmic Unicorn Skin. Cool. Okay, just so you know, this is not a sponsored video. I was very happy to get my hands on them. I'm, I'm very grateful that she sent them to me. I'm thankful for the mail still running. So thank you to those people. And I'm um, not sure. I don't know which one to do. You know, I'm just going to open them up and we're just going to have a little fun. Okay, this one I think is Aurora Unicorn Skin. So let's try this guy. Yes, oh, that's really pretty. That's pretty. Mm, I like that. Okay, and this one is Solar Unicorn, and I'll put it on the dark. Now it will look very different. Oh, oh, mummy. Oh, I like that. I like that too. That's gorgeous. I think I could wear it. It would look good what? on me. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I'd like to see. I do like that. It's very adorable. Very, But this just jumped. Now, it would be curious to see. Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to see what this looks like on the white, okay? I mean, when you get these, you can play and you can see what you like. Oh, it's actually very nice. I like it better. I like this on the white or the dark. That might be my favorite one. I haven't seen this one yet, but... I liked this one, but now that's my least favorite. I like this one. This is my favorite. Okay, this one is called Cosmic Unicorn Skin. Ooh! Oh. I might like this better than the last one that was my favorite. I just flooded my nail a little bit. I was getting a little bit too excited. Oh, wow. Okay, now I can't decide. I think I might like this one better because I'm a little more partial to the cool tones. So I think I like that one. That is gorgeous though. I can think of it on many things. So that's my least favorite now. <laughs> I'm 
think this one's my, oops, I just gunked it. Those are my favorite. Wow, those are really cool. So I have to say, okay, there's lots of glitters and maybe even hollows out there, but the difference with this stuff is it's dense. A lot of times if you get a clear polish and you put it on, it looks so great in the bottle. And then when you put it on, you're like, oh, and all you're getting mostly is clear polish. But there's lots of little bits in there and that makes a difference. I just paint it on one time. I don't even need a second coat. Sometimes if you buy it in the bottle in the drugstore, just on anyone that you pick up that you really like, you've got to put like four or five coats to get any color what you're looking for. But these are lots of little bits in it. <laughs> it's like getting a chocolate chip cookie and there's actually lots of chippets in it, not just like you're hoping to buy get bite into one, right? Me likey. Okay, I'm just going to slap a top coat on there. I'll just pick one of these top coats. Let's check out the reviews. Those are adorable. Check it out. Well, those are gorgeous. Now they're on short nails. They're adorable on short nails, but this has inspired me for an idea to do something really long and quite fun. I've got lots of time at home now. I think, are you up for that, cameraman? Oh yeah. Well, we all needed a little unicorn skin lift right now. Thank you, Christine, for sending these to me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe.